All right, here we go. Problem number nine from our 1316 homework number five in my lab math. It says to write the following trigonometric expression as an algebraic expression containing u and v, and then give the restrictions on u and v. Okay, so we're going to do this the shortcut, and then I'm going to go back and show you the long way so that you have the steps. Okay. So when I'm looking at this, uh, these answer choices, since this is multiple guess, I can see that the last answer choice is the only answer choice that has the correct restrictions on U and V, because I know that these are based on the inverse sine and the inverse cosine, okay? So let's go back real quick to a previous lesson where we said the inverse sine has a domain of negative one to one inclusive, and the inverse cosine also has a, dom a domain of negative one to one inclusive. So since we have brackets on both sides, that means uh, less than or equal to and greater than or equal to, and you're gonna have a lower bound and an upper bound. So that's the only restriction that has what's equivalent to the brackets on both sides with the two restrictions. Got that? So that's how I know that this last answer choice has to be correct by the process of elimination, but that's really not going to help me understand how to work this, let's say if this was a test question, okay? So now we're going to work through this problem and show you how we would attack it if it were a test question, and it will also show that this uh, algebraic expression they have here is correct. So to start with, we know that an inverse trig function produces an angle. So we could say that inverse sine of u is some angle, say alpha, and the inverse cosine of v would be a different angle, say beta. And then we notice that we now have a difference formula for cosine, and we can go look that up. And the difference formula for cosine says cosine alpha cosine beta plus sine alpha sine beta. And so we need to apply this uh, formula to our problem. Okay. All right. So here we go. Let's minimize that. We're going to have, uh, let's do this in a different color. Cosine alpha, cosine beta, and then remember the formula said plus, and I can see I'm going to need to make this bigger, plus sine alpha, sine beta. And then I'm going to need to evaluate this. So the cosine of the inverse cosine cancel, and that leaves me with just V. So I know that that's going to be V times cosine of the inverse sine of U, whatever that is, plus. And then over here, I know sine of inverse sine is going to cancel and leave me with U times the sine of the inverse cosine of V, whatever that is. Now to figure out these other two expressions here and here, I'm going to have to apply Pythagorean theorem. So let's construct us a coordinate system. And theta is going to be in the first quadrant because both of these expressions are positive. That's positive U and positive V. So they're both going to be in the first quadrant. And we're going to deal with, uh, let's color code these, okay? Let's do this guy first in green. So remember that sine is y over r. And u as a fraction would be u over 1. So that would be, y, uh, what am I doing? Not y u, y is u over r is 1, 
and then I would have to do the Pythagorean theorem to find the value of x here. And so if I apply a Pythagorean theorem, that's going to be x squared plus y squared equals r squared. Bringing this guy over would make it minus u squared. And then taking the square root of both sides is going to tell me that x is really the square root of 1 minus u squared. And then I can uh, evaluate this entire expression because it's cosine of this angle. Cosine is x over r, which would be square root of 1 minus u squared over 1. But anything over 1 is itself. So that's going to simplify to v times square root of 1 minus u squared. Okay, That's all of this guy evaluated. And then I've got my plus, and then we're going to do this again, okay? Rinse and repeat. And let's do this guy in purple right here. So if I scroll down a bit and draw another coordinate system, now this is cosine of V. V is understood to be V over 1. Remember, cosine is x over r. So here my x would be v, my r would be 1, and here I would need to find y using Pythagorean theorem, okay? So that's going to be v squared plus y squared equals 1 squared. Moving the v squared over, 1 minus v squared, and then if I take the square root of both sides, I can see that y really is the square root of 1 minus v squared. Now I can calculate this expression because we're doing sine of this angle. Sine is y over r, which would be square root of 1 minus v squared over 1. But anything over 1 is itself, OK? So then this would be u times the square root of 1 minus v squared. And now that would be our algebraic expression, OK? Now compare what we just got here to this last answer choice down here. v square root of 1 minus u squared plus u square root of 1 minus v squared. That's how they get that, OK? This is the work involved to come up with this expression. And then from our notes, we know that this boundary has got to be negative 1 to 1. And I'm going to have to click, I guess. Tab is not working. And negative 1 to 1. Remember, that's from what I pointed out earlier, going back and looking at the notes. And then we're going to check and see if that's right. Fingers crossed. <clears throat> Man, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.